Hello, and welcome back to the Spoiler Cast, the show where we talk about movies and we don't care about spoiling them. My name is Tobias, and with me as always is my sister and trusted co host, Rebecca. Hello. 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 Um, <clears throat> uh, I'm still a bit under the weather, so if I have a coughing fit, sorry. Just, <laughs> uh, warning you, because I've been coughing a lot. For, for like hey, a it might now. fit with the theme of the movie. Yeah, right, right. Yes, because today we're talking about another spooky clown movie. The, yes. And, and uh, if it was more well known, it would be like the quintessential clown movie because it's literally just called Clown. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, from 2014, right? Yes. Written and directed by uh, John Watts, I think his name yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah, John Watts. Who's now more famous, I guess, for the Spider-Man Homecoming movies. That's him? <laughs> yeah. Wow. He, he I, made, didn't uh, I didn't look that up. He made Clown, based on a short film he made a couple years earlier. Yeah, from, uh, yeah. From that, he got a chance to do a movie called Cop Car with Kevin Bacon, which is actually a really good movie. Um... And that, that became like a minor, like... Um, oh, yeah, that one. Uh, like indie hit. Like a, like a dark thriller. And of course, Disney being Disney, they just snatched him up like, ah, oh, you're the you're the most popular indie director right now. How about you make movies for us? And he's like, okay. He was like, yeah, money. Thank you, please. Yeah, yeah <laughs> ba- basically, yeah. Um, and oh, now, yeah. here we are. And, and of course, this year, I don't know if he's completely released, but he has... At least now made another movie that isn't Disney. He made uh, Wolves. Yeah. With Brad Pitt and George Clooney. For Apple TV. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's coming out on cinema here in Sweden. Sure. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But we are talking about Clown. His yes. first full-length movie, I guess. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. He's done shorts <clears throat> and, and TV shows and stuff. Um, so, uh, had you, did, I, I'm going to steal your question. Yeah. We're going to do it as we usually do, but I'm going to steal it. Uh, what did you think of it? Or have you seen it before? I had not seen it before. I knew of it. Yeah. I think I had seen the short film. Ah. I, I recognized the um, the concept yeah. of, a, of a man who finds a clown suit, puts it on for his son's birthday party, and then he can't take it off. It's almost yeah. like he's slowly becoming a clown, Ooh, which is the plot of the movie. I didn't check out the short film, actually. I should have done that. Yeah. It's like it's like oh, well. one minute long. Yeah. Um, I think I'd seen it on YouTube a few years ago. Um, anyway, yes. No, I so I'd not seen the movie, but I saw... Uh, I'd seen Cop Car back when it came mm. out, um, and I really liked that one. I've seen two of his Spider-Man movies. The first one's pretty good. Uh, yep. Spider-Man uh, No Way Home might be one of the worst movies I've ever seen. <laughs> I know, I know. Blah, blah, blah. I don't like it. It's um, fine. You don't have to. Yeah, yeah. So I was I was, I was, was looking forward to this. I think the the concept's a little, little silly. And a little. It definitely starts out like, what is, what is this? This doesn't really work. Like, why didn't he take the suit off immediately? Um, but as it goes on, I think the the movie the movie gets better. It gets dark as hell, mm-hmm. and uh, I quite uh, quite enjoyed it. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah. Not- <laughs> and that's when you ask me. <laughs> yeah. So what did you think of it? <laughs> no, I agree. I thought it was pretty good. Um, it felt cheap in the beginning, and at certain yeah. points, it yeah, felt it very feels cheap. Cheap throughout. And I think it is pretty a pretty cheap movie. But when it came to to the costuming towards the end, yes, that part looks really cool. Yes, and so th- that the, the the costume and makeup department did really well, despite probably not having too much money. Mm. Um, have, well, yeah, well, for America, for Hollywood, I suppose it's small. Exactly, one point five million dollar in budget. You could get quite far with that, but still not as far as some other movies. <laughs> no. Um, but I think they did good, especially with the the makeup and and costuming. Some of the acting isn't my favorite, and no. it, even the surprise of uh, <laughs> Peter Stormare didn't really. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't feel like he did his best. 
it was it was it felt like <sighs> kind of felt I, like a directed TV kind of movie for some which reason. It, which it kind of is. I don't, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that's true. I it guess. had limited theater release, but it definitely felt like a like yeah directed DVD movie. Um, uh, yeah, and uh, Peter Stormare, he felt he felt like like you know not that he was making fun of it, but he. No, he maybe didn't really think it was like a great, you know, dark movie, which I think it was not great, but you know, I think he saw it as kind of silly. Yeah, so he, he hammed it up a little bit, mm-hmm. but I still, th- and, and I don't think he like ruined it or anything. No, 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 no. It's just I usually assume he he'll do a lot better, but again, he can't. He's a small role. Mm. He's supposed to be the quirky know-it-all from a Nordic country, so I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Yeah. And then he's not supposed to take up too much space as well because you know the actual clown is the main character. Yeah. Uh you mentioned that uh the movie feels kind of cheap uh except for the clown suit and that's kind of funny because I think they actually spent a lot of money on the clown suit. It was supposed yeah. it was supposed to be designed like this is like a first first feature for this unknown director and the idea was and I think it was actually the plan until it got you know, uh, it was double booked or something. That Vivian Westwood was going to design the mm. um, uh, the, the, the suit. clown suit, yeah. And of course, she's worked on like big Hollywood movies. Um, yeah, she's like, a the, 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 big ass fashion designer in general. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. So, and so I'm guessing they still like they still had allocated a big budget for the dress or the yeah. costume. It was like, all right, let someone else do it then, I suppose. Maybe they even had, like, first drafts or something. Yeah, maybe. That they could work off of. Yeah. Because, I mean, it does look really cool, especially as, you know, it evolves throughout the movie. Yeah. Yeah, and it becomes more and more of a skin. Yeah, but then certain details still stay, like, the silly suit, sort of. But with this texture, and it looks really cool. Yeah. And it's a... the um the transformation is so gradual that you barely mm-hmm. notice it. Like when it goes from I I watched a a couple of uh, reviews of it. It's hard to find reviews of this movie actually. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of them are from Gosh. first of all years ago. Mm-hmm. And then there's like small channels and they're short and some of them just go through the movie basically and that's it. And like okay, okay but what did you think of it? Mm. Uh but some, one of them pointed out that um at certain points, you do see that the the suit has morphed into his skin, sort of. But yeah. you don't. I didn't. Re- I didn't realize I mean, it as I watched the movie. No, exactly. It's like you have to pause to really look at it. Towards the end, you sort of like, wait a minute. Y- yeah, by like then you started um, his uh, neck, uh, uh, the collar thing. The collar, yeah. It's a typical like frilly lace thing, and then eventually, like now, it just looks like 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 wings or something. Yeah, like the like those dinosaurs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like a sail, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. And like, there's one scene, which I must have blinked and miss, missed part of it, but uh, when he's driving the car, I think it's when he has uh, Peter Stormare's character in the back. Yes. His, his fingers, fingers and toes starts... grow. Yes. I missed the part where his toes grew out of his shoes. Yeah. I must have blinked. Yeah. But the fingers, I was like, something's happening. <laughs> yeah. It's creepy and it works. So I think this this is a good movie. It's just it's. I think the acting and um, the sets are maybe what brings it down a little bit for me. Yeah, it suffers from from uh, budgeting. Yeah, budgeting really. It, it, the the concept needed a little bit of a bigger budget for for yeah. to, to work properly. To but, have the same impact as they wanted, probably. Yeah, and the pace. <clears throat> The pacing is a little bit off. A like, little bit. Like, but it's not a long movie. No, it's not super long, but... It's 140 with credits. It could have been shorter, though. Could have been a little bit shorter. Because there is a lot, of, a lot of stuff in the middle where he's just, like, walking around. And we get that, oh, things are changing. Yeah, we know, but we gotta, we gotta come yeah. on. They could have... It's before they he, cut he just starts little, actually changing. <laughs> yeah, just little things here and there. You could have easily removed, like, ten minutes. Without without losing any story beats or anything, yeah. Um, but I still enjoyed it. Yeah, no, I did too. Yeah, felt a little bit campy, a little bit silly, but still 
fun. Not scary though, which I thought it would be. Because clowns uh, are really one of my hate objects. Yeah. But I think it's because he didn't it he was more of a demon than a clown, so Yeah. That worked in my favor, I guess. I gotta say though, that's that's kinda of funny because we discussed in the last episode, or the last patron episode, patron.com slash don't make scene. Um we discussed the difference between, you know, like a, a, a good horror movie, you know, like The Exorcist and how it, yeah, how it, yeah. like, this, it, it, it philosophizes on the nature of sure. what's scary. But then there are like, you know, movies that just scare you, you know, like, yep. oh, we talked about The Woman in Black. There's a clip of yep. it on the channel. There's two um, clips, I think. Yeah. And I'd say this, this, this falls into the former category where I think... The concept in and of itself is f- frightening. Yes. But the movie isn't scary. Exactly. In fact, it's slowly turning into this monster that you can't control. It's kind of a, kind of a, almost like a <coughs> 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 werewolf kind of story. Yes. Um, uh, and I agree. And it would have worked if it had, if it was a little bit better, more well made. Sure. The, the silliness and the ca- campiness kind of threw me off and made me just go, hey, this is funny, okay. instead of being like, ah, this is creepy. Okay. Because, yeah, the concept is creepy. It's really, uh, what's the word? Unsettling. Unnerving. Unsettling. Um, but it didn't, it didn't really get no, that no. far for me. No, it didn't scare me, but I thought the concept, the, 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 the idea of the movie was... Creepy. Yeah, but it didn't stick with me like that. The fact that he starts like going after his own family towards the end. That was like... Yeah, no, it's just... Uh, eh. in, kind it, of... it stopped feeling silly and get, got too real, so, so to speak. Uh, not to me. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I didn't consider, though, that this is, this is tagged as body horror. I guess that's true. Yeah, technically. Although we don't get a lot of body horror. No, it's, I guess it's the morphing, maybe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> But there's not a lot of, like, goo and stuff. No. But what they do do well is... Uh, do do. The killing of children. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Which is terrible to say, but in this kind of movie, it's it's <coughs> fine. It's almost good. <coughs> yes. Because he's a clown. Uh, I mean, yeah, exactly. It's supposed to be involving children. Kind of like it, you know? Yeah. It's not as scary when they're adults. It's more scary <laughs> when they're children. <laughs> Yeah, children are afraid of. Or, yeah, well, children like clowns for some reason. I never got that. Children I like never... clowns, but then they grow up and realize that clowns are scary. Yeah, adults don't I like never clowns. Really children like do. Clowns, though. I like clowns when I was a kid. I don't anymore. Especially not now. No, I did realize though after watching two clown movies. Well, this is technically. Is it the fourth clown movie now? In like two weeks. Joker, Joker 2, Clown. Yeah, I don't know if I count Joker, by the way. No, that's true. Whatever, two clown movies in short succession. succession. I might have, my tolerance for clowns might have gone up. (laughs) They're not as creepy anymore. No. Well, we haven't watched, like, super scary clown movies either. No, and I mean, we're going to get to one of the most terrifying ones (laughs) towards the end. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> yeah. And I, and I I plan on rewatching the first two just because. Mm. But I still don't remember if I if I feel like he is as a clown scary or if he's just scary. Mm. I don't know if the clown aspect is actually doing anything specific. Maybe in the first. I don't one. remember. We're talking about terrifying. To, that's what we're talking about. Obviously, that's why I said um, terrifying. <clears throat> you know. Yeah, but um, but go, go, <laughs> going back to to clown. Um, yes. It's kind of funny you brought up, yeah, because he kills children uh, in, in the movie. Uh, I guess yeah. we're, we're starting to skirt around some spoilers here, but whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll... It's from 2014. It's 10 years old by now. Still. We'll, 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 but I'll, I'll do a spoiler warning before we start talking proper sure. story spoilers. Um, And it's kind of funny because, and, and speaking of Terrifier, it's been a lot of, of talk online um, about that some people are, some people really don't appreciate that they killed children in Terrifier 3. Like, ki- ch- children shouldn't be killed. It's it's terrible. This movie is terrible, you know. You know, concerned moms. You know, that yeah, kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, but children have been killed in horror movies for decades, forever. 
Yeah. Remember It? One of the most uh, uh, successful uh, uh, mainstream monster movies of all time? Kill a bunch yeah. of children in those movies. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Nobody complained then. Yeah. I think it's just because Terrifier is so brutal. Probably. It's not... It's not... <sighs> it's, it's not it's Hollywood? Not, it's not cinematic. <laughs> yeah, it feels more mean-spirited. Yeah. <laughs> and I think this one does that as well. It's pretty... At least the first one, which he doesn't kill, he just bites the fingers off him. Yeah. But it's it's very, like... Rough. That one's kind of creepy. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, he lures him out also into the forest. because it's so, so dark. Yeah. You can't really see what's happening. And the kid is being very nice and kind. It's like, oh, are you hungry, sir? And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bites his yeah. fingers off. Um. Yeah, but but and, and we did recently do an episode when we talked about Speak No Evil. And, um, yes, where we shunned... <laughs> Yeah. Hurting children. <laughs> yeah, specific. But then that it's then that, that one is. It's special. why they're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, and I don't mind. I, we've talked. We talked about that. Also. I don't mind children dying in movies. I think it's uh, no. if it's done correctly, it does it's not just edgy. It just it adds to the creepiness. If there's a point to it. Yeah. Um. So complaining that they kill children in Terrifier, like that's the whole point. It's supposed yeah. to gross you out. Yeah. It's supposed to make you go, oh no, good heavens, and clutch your pearls, you know. Yeah. That's the whole point. And I mean, we haven't we haven't seen it yet, but um, uh, based on the trailer, I mean, he's after a child, as far as I understand. So, for some reason that I'm not entirely sure what is, no, but he's chasing the the si- siblings from the f- last movie. Yeah, that's one of them is a child. Yeah. No? Wow. Well, yeah. Teenager. So you know. Yeah. Um, there's a point to it. Yeah, and it's, it's same as here. There's there's here, technically yeah. a point to it. Yeah, even and though that one is just this one is just sinister. He's just because he needs he needs to eat feed. five five <laughs> child souls basically. Yeah, yeah. the Nordics are apparently have very um, terrible demons. Yeah, the cloin. <laughs> I didn't look that up if it's actually a real thing. No, I, I didn't know. either. It didn't feel real. <laughs> Let me look it up. I, I didn't remember how they spelled it. I think it's Cloyne. C-L-O-Y-N. The Cloyne Demon. The Clay... Ah, uh, Villains Wikipedia. That doesn't count. No, I think it's made up for the... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, it's made up for the movie. Alright. <clears throat> the Clayne. Um, yeah, because everything that comes up has to do with the movie. So yeah, no, but in, in, no, yeah. To kind of wrap up our spoiler-free segment, it's a good movie. Yeah. Um, it's it's kind of funny to see that he went <clears throat> he went from this kind of you know campy silly concept to a pretty dark mm-hmm. adult thriller with cop car. Yeah, and then immediately moved on to like kid-friendly superhero adventure movies. Yay! Yay! <laughs> um, but it feels like... It feels like in his heart, he is more of a dark guy, so to speak. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, this this, this could have been, like, one of those, you know, asylum movies. Like, a cheap, you know... Um, what do you call it? Like, cheap, cheap scares kind of movie that they just... Yeah. They would just want to make a buck, you know? But he added something to it. It has more. It has more uh, depth than that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I was. I'm. I'm reading what Wolves is. Uh. So to like gauge if that one is mm, more, it's more dark of a, it's or more of a serious comedy. stuff. But it is yeah, about. It seems. It is about contract killers. So. No, about um, fixers. Fixers. Yeah. Like the wolf in Pulp Fiction. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Um, but I would like to see him go back to his dark roots of a clown and, yeah, and to do more cop of this car. You creepy know. stuff. Maybe we'll this that, but with more humor. I, w- I would be cool with that. I mean, it's not tagged as, as a comedy, so maybe. Hmm. Maybe just the trailer sells it like it. Yeah. But either way, we, there are some things that might be spoilery. So from now on, yes, uh, sure. spoilers for clown. Um, more details and stuff. Yeah. Spoilers, spoilers, if you don't spoilers. want to know that, yeah. spoilers. Yeah. Now, when he killed...